Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair. It's Kobe here, and in today's video, we are going to talk about Cinema 4D's tag menu. So, Cinema 4D has a way of working where you can apply a tag to any object that you want for you to be able to apply or assign extra properties or option to the object. So, for instance, if I come to my object manager, you can see in my scene here, we have this cheaply modeled spaceship, right? And if I come into my object manager, you can see we have it in here. Now, if we look at the top here, we have this tags and if i click on it you can see we have all of these menu here and all of these are the tags that we have in cinema 4 there are a lot of them and i'll do all to explain what each and every tag does in um, subsequent videos because if i say i do it in this particular video that will be a very long one so i'll do it series by series to explain what each and every tag does so if i come in here you can see we have all of these tags so i'm going to talk about the align to spline and the align to path um, tags in this particular video. So first of all, I can add it here, align to spline, and I can add it here, or I can right click. You can see we so we have the same thing. We have align to spline and align to path. We can also sh hit Shift C to bring it up here. And whilst we are here, if right click on this, we can actually start typing in any object that we want. So if I hit align can see it gives us the animation tag so i can simply choose the align to spline all right so now i have the align to spline applied to our shape and you can see on the right side this app icon appears so this is a a, a tag applied to our object and sima 4d comes with some default tags when you apply your own if you apply any sima 4d object it comes with some default tag so for instance if i should create a cube you can see by default it has this font tag which has been applied to it already you can apply delete it and apply it yourself or you can leave it on now let's go back to our line to spline so if i select my line to spline and now come to the attributes manager you can see we have a line to spline expression which is the name of the tag so now the attribute you can see we have spline path so what the align to spline does is that it basically helps you to align your your object to a spline up um align it to move along a spline right so i can simply come in here and i'll create let's say a helix right and i'll actually change the plane i'll make it a little bigger so that everything will cool and then i'll select the align to spline tag you can see in the spline path all you have to do is to drag in the spline that we want to align our ship to so i'll drag it in and you can see the ship skips to the tip of the helix so now if i come in here into the position and start moving it you can see it's moving along the spline but it's not moving the way we expect it to so what you have to do is to if we check tangential now you start moving it you can see now it's moving kind of the way that we expect it to move all right now you can see in here we have real path and this is a second path that we can actually apply to actually make our object tell our object to move as the exact way that we want it in in some instances without the real path your object will be flipping back and forth so let me actually delete the helix and go ahead and create let's say a sphere right i'll change the um plane to let's say xz i'll make it a little bit bigger so and now Let's go ahead and apply it to our line to spline. So I'll select the align to spline. I'll click and drag a circle into the path. And you can see everything looks fine. Immediately we start moving it. You can see it flips. See in here. Let me actually filter and take out the work plane so that it will look clean. So you can see if I start moving it now, you see it moves, it flips, right? But sometimes you might not want it that way. We want it to stay the same the way it is. So what we have to do is now create a second spline. So I'll select the circle, hold control to click and drag, and it will create a duplicate copy of it. And in the aligned spline tag, I can add the duplicate copy that has been created in the real, not much changes. So now we can actually tell it the way we want it. So if I take the move to, and I move it a little bit on the X, you can see now, it's gone back to the way it is. Now, if I select the align to spline and start moving it, you can see it doesn't flip. So it moves smoothly along the spline the way we want it. If I probably move it back, 
this way i move the rail back this way you can see it has flipped it the other way around and now if i move it same way it moves smoothly so this is what basically the rail also does all right so basically that's what the align to spline does so i'll go ahead and de de maybe clear these ones and delete the align to spline and now let's reset everything back to its default now we are going to talk about the align to path as well so with the align to path it, it's not about spline it's about animation so for instance i'll come into my front view and i'll do some simple animation actually um side view right view and i'll do some animation so i'll actually set a keyframe somewhere i'll increase the frame rate i'll set a keyframe here um and i'll move it like let's say at frame 60 this one is not really planned but let's i'll move it here all right i'll set a keyframe again maybe um move it somewhere here and i'll set another keyframe here and maybe let me see move it a little down as well something like that and i'll set a keyframe again so basically this is the kind of animation that we have right and you can see the way it's playing because we set like the keyframes that you set are basically the position alone but with the align to path we can actually force our object to start obeying the path like how it moves and now follow tangentially so if i let me actually first of all um on check um on key all the rotation and scale because all we want is the position right so i'll now right click align right click and come to our animation tag and i'll choose my align to path and you can see what's happening now automatically the shape has actually take the tangent of our um, object and you can see it's trying to conform to the path of our object i mean this is not entirely effective most of the time but sometimes it can be very helpful in a lot of situations so basically that's what the align to path that it's something i barely use most of the time but that's basically what it tries to do so you can see it's trying to apply line itself to the path and moving and taking the shape of our um of our path now with the align to spline most of the time it's best if you apply it to a null object so that the object that you want to align is a child to the null object and now if you animate it you can see it moves along perfectly but at the same time you have control over the rotation of your object so in this case you can now rotate it the way you want it and start like that so i think it's always good to actually apply it um, to a null object and make your uh, object a child to the null object and now you can actually have a bit of control over the banking and rotation of your object whilst it's um, moving along the spline so in this case you can actually move it any how you want it and the pitch the banking and also anything that you want to control even even the even the position to actually control it move it outside of the whole routine and still will stay and move along this line so it's a way of working to actually um, to keep it a bit parametric control over your object i hope this was helpful and i'll see you in the next one.